Hey guys, Silence Seal here. Welcome to a very long waited play let's play. Uh, I've been planning to do this let's play ever since this game was released, and that was a few years ago. Um, yeah, so the problem with the let's play for this game was because back then I haven't gotten my capture card just yet. So I was purely recording most of my gameplay off the PlayStation 4 share uh, system. So if you guys probably know how my channel has been back in the days, you have probably seen like the uh, Let's Play series being in a very, um, I would say, low quality range of videos, <laughs> mainly due to the 720 or rather the 480, uh, I think it was 720? Yeah, it was should probably be 720 capture rate that the PlayStation 4 is allowed to do. Uh, and one of the reasons why I only managed to do this gameplay now is because, well, Sony or other Square Enix um, blocked off the last portion of the game um, for uh, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage, mainly due to the cutscenes and all that kind of stuff. So now that I've gotten the capture card and we are just a day away from Kingdom Hearts 3, yes, as of this time that I'm recording, um, it's the 28th of January 2019 uh, in Asia. Um, I know in the States the game will probably come out in another two days uh, as of this time in uh, Asia. Um, but for myself, um, the game comes out tomorrow. Uh, but sadly to say, I won't be getting the game tomorrow. So for you guys who are fans of Kingdom Hearts, uh, please be patient with me. I will definitely be doing a Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, for my channel, uh, but sadly to say, the game will only come to me, I think, towards the end of January, uh, as I ordered my game off Amazon uh, US, and they have uh, sent me an email saying that my game will probably reach around the 31st of January to maybe the 2nd of February 2019. So definitely, uh, please hold out to then. Um, I know a lot of the other Kingdom Hearts channels out there will probably do theirs first uh, if they have gotten the digital copy of the game but mine definitely I am a collector so I'm going towards the physical copy and I've gotten myself the deluxe edition of the game itself so yes expect uh, unboxing of the deluxe version of the game on my channel as well so anyway guys let's that's enough talking let's dive into the game itself uh, I've completely delete, deleted my gameplay save file for this game uh, to start afresh and it's been a few, uh, rather a long time since I played this game so I've kind of forgotten most of it so it's it's kind of like a refresher for myself at the same time maybe if you guys have not touched Kingdom Hearts before this might be a very interesting step into the series definitely not the best way to start off but you know, um, to get you guys ready for Kingdom Hearts 3. Alright, there we go. So, automatic saving, definitely. Okay, well, we're good. So, hopefully, all this will... I, I'm expecting that this video will not be allowed to monetize. Hopefully, it won't get blocked. Uh, <laughs> um, considering that it is a Disney property and a Square Enix property. So, I'm really hoping that this doesn't all get blocked and is viewable on my channel later on. I'm just praying very hard right now. So, if you guys manage to see this video, you probably know that um, things have gone, I think, a bit well. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you guys didn't know, um, Kingdom Hearts 2.8, um, which has Dream Drop Distance Remastered, and of course 0 0.2 uh, that we're currently playing, 0 0.2 was designed in a way um, using the same kind of engine that Kingdom Hearts 3 would have. So just for you guys to have a taste and feel of what Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be, um, definitely looking forward to it. Um, as for myself, I have already played it before. I remember being shocked at the um, the graphical beauty of the game. 
So just from the cutscenes alone, you can probably tell. Um, definitely there have been a lot of changes during the production of this game, um, 0.2, because there were a lot of patches being uploaded onto the Sony PlayStation Network um, system, um, even after the game's launch, because they had to tweak like the characters, uh, models and all that kind of stuff. So that was a very very fantastic thing that uh, Square Enix um, has been doing, uh, or rather Nomura has been implementing since uh, he is kind of unsatisfied with the final outcome, I guess. Which is fantastic for all the fans out there. Simple and clean is the way that I feel. No matter how many times I hear this song, um, it is just nostalgia ringing throughout my whole body. Um, even though I, I kind of grew up listening to the English version of the song, but I do have the original soundtracks um, from uh, Hutara Hikaru, and they're all the Japanese versions. So I, I have nostalgia for both languages of the game. Um, I really wish Kingdom Hearts created a series where the games had interchangeable languages where the gameplay was still in English for the um, foreign fans and of course the languages are still in Japanese. Um, it is true that we I would rather hear the Disney characters speak in English because well Disney is an American property and definitely we are more um, familiarized with the American versions of the Disney characters voices. So yeah, fantastic stuff. So looking at the loading screen itself, or rather the main menu screen, um, Aqua is looking stunning, although there is kind of a bit of a pixelation at her hair. Um, I guess it's mainly because I'm running the game on the standard PlayStation 4 instead of a Pro. Um, yes, so I will be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 on the standard regular PlayStation 4. I probably might not get a Pro. I definitely did not pre-order the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Limited Edition PS4 uh, Pro because, well, it was a lot of money and I didn't quite like the design of the, the PlayStation 4 skin. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with Standard Mode. Um, I will probably do Proud Mode on my own um, if I want to 100% the trophies and all that stuff. Uh, in my previous play, I did not finish everything. I did not 100% the trophies in uh, this game, mainly because um, well, I had other stuff to do and all the kind of things. But maybe this time around, I might uh, push myself a bit more to finish up um, 2.8. But now that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out in the next few days, I think that might not be happening. <laughs> so anyway guys, let's dive into the world of Kingdom Hearts 0.2, Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. That's one shit as long title. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I didn't read the controls, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> uh, it's just the usual stuff, you know, when you play a game. So we gotta look at the Keyblade Graveyard. The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. As you know, we must take action to keep the Seven Pure Lights safe. And thus, we must hasten to assemble the Seven Guardians of Light. It is time to return to our world the three Keyblade wielders we lost over a decade ago. Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end. 
for they have more to achieve. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. Oh. Could it be? Okay, we don't need the tutorials, I hope. <laughs> so, looking back at this game now, it was an amazement back then. Um, the graphics and everything was fantastic, um, considering at the time that it was launched. But now that we have seen so many trailers of Kingdom Hearts 3, um, it does start to look a bit choppy. Um, it is a bit grainy here and there. And the game kind of has, uh, I don't know, um, maybe because of, of my monitor resolution, um, the game looks a bit like it has a bit of kind of a fish eye look um, in terms of the view. Um, Aqua moves very fluidly, except for maybe like just, just then when I was like moving the character in the opposite direction immediately. It does still feel like a video game, it, it doesn't feel like. Um, like the characters were designed to move, um, you know, like, um, I don't know how to explain it, you know, like fluidly like a real person would. I guess not many video games are capable of doing that yet. So let's take a look at some of the, so yeah, pressing the center button on the jo the, the controller does give you a more zoom in look. Uh, of course... Let's see, so square is to block and to roll, that's pretty good to know. Um, I don't know, we don't have magic yet so I guess we will unlock it along the way. Uh, this this is kind of like a tech demo for Kingdom Hearts 3, it feels like it, although it is its own game in a way because it has a um, brand new story. This world here in the darkness? There we go, our first battle with the Heartless. So we still have the lock function. Oh! Okay, so yeah, I forgot that um, in this game, Aqua does have uh, a bit of his of, of her own combos. So after doing a certain amount of strikes, there we go, we will have that finishing. So I think Kingdom Hearts 3 will be exactly the same as well, um, with easy to do comboing. Um, I heard there have been some complaints with um, some lag in transition between attacks. There's no time. Yeah, considering from all the trailers that have been released out there, so I think that's okay. I think it's perfect, you know. I walk on and on without end. In Such the realm a sad of light, story. do days or years pass with each step? I know something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. Hurry to what? So, yeah, um, we know that Aqua got trapped in the world of darkness um, because King Mickey saw her in it. He was saying to um, Riku and Kairi. I guess I know which way I'm going. I don't know. 
somehow or rather, the voice acting for Echo in this game um, feels a bit, um, I would say, a bit unnatural. I mean, the the voice actress was probably trying to portray her as sad. Um, but it kind of it kind of feels like she's faking it too much, um, and. You know, I, I'm sure Aqua definitely has sorrow being trapped in the world of darkness, the realm of darkness, um, for such a long period of time. Um, but, you know, she still has that strong sense of uh, um, faith in her friends to save them and all kind of stuff. So anyway guys, you know, wondering why I'm still standing around this box is mainly because, well, the the... I would say the design of the chest is still pretty much the same as the old Kingdom Hearts game and it still looks a bit, um, I would say it looks kind of out of place compared to the backgrounds and all this stuff. So yeah, that's that's my view on this game at this point of time that we have seen so many Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers. Um, when I first played this, um, back then I had a, I say a, a, a poor resolution monitor. I felt my heart stir. In a long time. Something yeah. about this place. So now looking at it again on a probably a better resolution monitor, things are starting to look it a bit more like clearer. Worse things are stirring. Alright, so let's get down to destroying all these heartless. We don't have magic attacks yet, so we can't really do a lot of comboing. So Go, we did a block. <laughs> All right, so it's nice to try things out. <laughs> you jumped in it, not me, man. Uh, I didn't ask you to come and destroy it, though. So. <laughs> Let it. Nice. Do a sonic spin <laughs> to finish the battle. All right. So it's it's pretty nice to see that when you're walking away from a combat area, Aqua keeps her Keyblade. Um, that's pretty a uh, fascinating feature um, that most of the previous games do not have, I suppose. Not that I can remember Kingdom Hearts 2. I definitely remember Kingdom Hearts 1 didn't have this um, function. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. So we get lots of flashbacks from the older games. I'm pretty surprised they didn't render the um, visuals of these flashbacks with the modern 0.2 graphics. It's pretty strange, um, considering that you know maybe Nomura could have done a better job at noticing all these tiny little bits of details. Um, if you want to show off the new engine for Kingdom Hearts 3. Might as well do it to the full extent, you know. It might take a bit more time, but you've already taken 13 years to create Kingdom Hearts 3, so what's another year or two just for, you know, even even though 0 0.2 is a small part of the whole story, you could have done everything a bit more justice. But that's just my little pet peeve. Here too, everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life. Trees and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew is gone. The grief in this place is too much to fathom. enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. Go Master Aqua! So here we go, we've got some objectives that we can definitely achieve, which I will not be aiming for 
um, just this time round because we're just gonna do the playthrough. All right, so I mean we can strike all this. I mean the trophies that I've gotten in the past can never be deleted off from the PlayStation Network, um, which is pretty strange, uh, especially for those who would like to redo the entire um, trophy listing. It would have been a very nice feature. Uh, sadly to say, I was not capable to remove the trophy feature, so you won't see uh, uh, brand new trophies appearing, um, or rather new trophies like I would have gotten when playing the game for the first time. The row collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. Genius! <laughs> Master Equa being smart. I knew it. <laughs> if life were a video game. Okay. So let's move on. I guess we're gonna have to find okay, we do have our magic here now. Um okay we get blizzard. I guess we're gonna have to unlock more stuff along the way. Gears. I can restore the road. Okay, we do get our menu right now so we do have clothing uh, oh nice so I'm gonna stick with default um, yeah, yeah we do have objectives here okay so let's see what magic we have so we have everything powered up to his maximum strength already Fireguard, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Kiraga <laughs> that's hilarious so yeah like I said this game is pretty much like a tech demo The map. All right. Here we go. <laughs> nice. That? Okay, we're good. So we're gonna have to look for. So I I know that the movements for Aqua is supposed to be flowy for this game, but it kind of feels a bit strange. Okay, we have a save point. Let's heal. Oh, I'm supposed to use specific magic. Okay. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out which button is for which. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. I think that might be a gear up on that roof. Oh, okay. You can see from here. So that's pretty interesting. Um, they do have like a help, I guess. So can we dash? No, we can't add dash. Okay, so that's fine. Farewell. 
Okay, so I'm definitely not used to having everything back to default. I'm so used to air dashing and all that stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I had to do a full combo on it to activate it? Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so now we have mid-air jump. Fantastic. <clears throat> so I remember there was something below here. No? Okay. Mid-air jumping. Fantastic. Oh crap, I should have used thunder. So I'm definitely not familiarized with the uh, magic shortcuts. Alright, I think we're good. The battle music is still on. So I guess someone is still alive. There we go. Last fellow here. Alright. Is that one on the bridge? Yeah, you said so earlier. Nice. Okay, so let's go to the one at the bridge. So not used to the controls again. You know, like cause the American style of um, playing games where circle is jump and X is action, when the Japanese version is uh, X is jump and circle is action. So very strange feeling coming back to this all together. Have to get used to it again. Lock shop. Okay, so R1. All right, so let's. Okay, that's good to know. So here we go. I've got to remember to check around the tower. Okay, so I remember there was something here. Um, I guess it's not the area. Maybe it's the lamppost. I don't know. I remember I had to do certain things. So let's do this. Oh, was this supposed? Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to press something. Oh well. <laughs> So the camera is a bit strange. Any more people? Okay. Is that it? Okay, let's move. Ah, finally we have our dash. <laughs> okay, this is gonna feel so much better. Yeah. 
Alright. So I recall yep. being able to get to the top just using the roof. Um, yeah, so I need to get yep. to the tower. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, let's do this again. Oh no, come on. Okay, let's get to this one. Here we go. Oh no, apparently you can't. Okay, that was a waste of try. Um. Oh right, supposed to. Oh, oh yeah, there's one here as well. I forgot. So let's do this one first. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, hey. Enough. Hey, there we go. So why do we have to go up there anyway? Um, okay. Woo! Let's collect all the goodies. Oh, there's more. Is it? Okay. Very good. Okay, there's a chest there. Not that I need all this anyway. Oh shit. No, 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 okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, so let's move to the main story. Yep. Oh. So this was our first introduction to the Devil's Wave. Go. Loving this. So we have the whole bar to use before we use our finisher. So, if you guys notice the um, the charge bar for, I guess form change for aqua um, it, it was the, those three arrows um, it's exactly the same thing that Disney Toon Toon incorporated uh, with the aqua zoom uh, uh, if you guys saw my video on that um, it was pretty interesting that they kept that um, function okay I'm dying There we go, easy peasy.
Not even memories. They're safe from the darkness. What I wouldn't give to really turn back time. To spend one more night beneath stars with my best friends. I'm doing it again. Aqua. It can't be. What are you doing here? You should be in the realm of light. Oh no. Did you not make it out? Don't tell me. Has the realm of light. Why won't you say anything to me? <laughs> so what are you? A memory among these shadows? Are you here to... try and tell me not to lose heart? Keeps our thoughts alive. But where do the people who lived here go once the world was taken away? <laughs> At least they're not here, so they haven't fallen to darkness. I'll take what solace I can from that. Hmm. So that's a very good question. What happened to the people when the world falls into darkness? My guess is, you yeah, the heartless you'd be killing. Another world that was lost to the darkness. Hmm? Is that... <laughs> Sleeping Beauty? Then! <laughs> it is Sleeping Beauty! <laughs> then. What did you come here to tell me? I know I promised to wake you up. I'm sorry. But I have to find a way home before I can help you. I just want you to know that it's been you that keeps my heart strong, keeps the dark away. It's a mirror. What? Those mirrors, maybe they're a clue. Alright, so um, the thing about this game is if you did not clear any of the stuff previously on the previous level, like trophies, achievements, and all that kind of stuff, you probably have to replay the whole game just to get back there to do it all again. So that was one of my peeves with this particular game. Um, especially for this part of the game where the boss fight can be insanely difficult especially if you play on proud mode um, the battle with well the hardest boss in this game which is 
um, Aqua vs Aqua. Uh, it's not really a spoiler right now because this game is pretty old by now if you guys have not played it. Um, I'm so sorry I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you guys ever play this for your own or you've already played it before, let me know in the comments down below how did you do when it comes to the um, the final boss fight with Aqua's uh, alternate self. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, so let's get into this room. So the mirrors do not reflect an image of you. Um, okay, so we have to, if I recall, we have to do fire art. No? Oh yeah, they put out the flames though, so okay. There you go. So yeah, as you can see, they don't reflect an image of you, but instead they reflect to the area that you're going to go into. Here we go. So we get the Neo um, Heartless. I think that's what they're called, if I recall. So the interesting thing about this fight is that you can't see anything at all. So you really have to just um, rely on your gut feeling, when to dodge, when to block, um, or even lock on to your enemies because you can't see where they are. Ooh, that was a long range attack, okay. So using Thundaga, you at least get to see the paralyzing effect. So you know where the hardness are. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. Wow, that's a lot of them. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's when I was saying there were a lot of them. Okay. Alright, suddenly the room is all bright again. Okay, that 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 whispering voice is creeping me out, so. Hopefully I didn't forget anything in that room. Alright, so here we go. Um I guess this is where we came from. Heal up. Okay, so I recall there was one room um, where the answer was in the reflection itself, or rather the image on the mirror. Here we go, another battle. So I have no idea what these are called. I don't recall um, seeing the. Um, I don't know, the notes, I suppose. Bang. <laughs> oh, it's just... Ah, oh, enemy so far away, okay. 
that it? Yeah, that's it. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Although I could have gone with the lock shot. Oh, so creepy. Okay, so we came this way. Always good to heal up just in case. So we only have one, two, three, four, five. Five areas to go. So this one. Ah, uh, here it is. So this is the one where you have the chest that you need to open. So the one on the left. Okay, so just need to take note of it. So I guess it's this one. There you go. Genius! <laughs> Actually, for the when it when I when it came into this room for the first time, I was lost. I didn't realize what I had to do until I was like puzzling around, looking around. It took me almost two hours to understand what this room was. Alright, so moving on to the next one. Oh, I do not like this one. So, I mean, this was one of the featured rooms and trailers for this game. But it's so confusing. So, because the, there are chests in this area, and then there's this reverse thing as well. You see this gap in the bottom. Um, yeah, so it is very, very confusing. The map doesn't do any justice. So, the, you, you, you do know that you're going the wrong direction when it gets darker. So, like, there's a chest here. So, in order to get this, you have to, like, um, attack this wall. And then you kind of, like, uh, reverse yourself. So, there we go. We get to open the chest. So, you do need to use this method to actually um, get to the correct um, area. Because like I said, uh, if you're if you're, en if you're entering an area that is like totally dark, it's because there's the, the limitation of this dimension area that you're currently in. Does right, that make sense? There you go. So let's get in. Okay. So yeah. As you can see, it's fading off again. It's a chest here, though. Nice. Okay, so we're looking for another one of these topsy turvy areas. This is why I do not like this room. Where is it? Okay, so this is the limitation. Okay. Huh. Where am I supposed to go? Seriously, do not see anything that hints. Oh dear lord. I am so lost. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay, it's over there. So where are we? Ah, okay, here we are. Oh no, is this the boss room? Oh, it is the boss room. Ah, oh, man. Is it 
this what it means to face your demons? true. My heart is strong. I'll prove it. Here we go. <laughs> Enough. Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh. So, I remember that like, the final level of the... This is just the boss's first form. Yep. There, there, there is. I think there's another two more levels of difficulty, um, where you can't take a single hit. Uh, that's one of the achievements. So it was pretty annoying. Okay, so that's the first one down. You just have to recognize the patterns. The final form of this boss. Then, and now my own phantom. What could it all mean? Yeah, like I was saying, the final form of this boss has all the patterns of the bosses that you will fight in this current area. It's so difficult, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, we didn't intend to smash the mirror, but I guess that's bad luck for us. Oh, this room is pretty interesting. Um, there's one of the achievements here where if you did not look back, um, you wouldn't have unlocked it. <laughs> so yeah, if you see here, there is nothing here. So at one of the levels when you're coming across this, because it's like an endless stairway, when it comes to a mirror, then you see another endless stairway. So if you didn't turn around, there will be a, I think there's a chest or something like that. That's it. Okay. So yeah. Um, let's see, is it this one? If I turn around now, nothing... Oh yeah, there we go. So there's this chest here. So if you didn't turn around, you wouldn't have noticed this. Uh, yeah, so... Pretty interesting function, I guess. So, oh no, it's another boss. So if we, if we, if we kept going up, I guess it will keep leading you... Let's see, there's this. I don't know. I think we're supposed to enter this one. So this will give you to lead you to the second version of the boss fight. Here we go. <laughs> Enough. Where are you? Come on. Hey, yeah, hi, hi, farewell. <laughs> Come on, you're done. Enough. <laughs> you're done. That's it! One more! Oh, come on! <laughs> the kill by magic!
So yeah, if you cleared the boss and you didn't get the chest, your achievement would be totally dead. Um, you have to come back and play the whole thing again. So that's pretty annoying. Alright, so for this one, I think it's just another battle room. Yeah, it's another battle room. Okay. So Blizzard is triangle, I have to really recall this. All my enemies! <laughs> oh, that was such a waste. Okay. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh no. Oh! Oh, so close. Alright, fantastic! So it's nice to see that Blizzard guy is a homing... Rather the finishing is a homing. Hopefully we are done. Yeah. So these, these smaller rooms, you don't get to see the um, mirror crack. Oh, this one. Okay, so this room is pretty interesting as well. Uh, I really like the design of this one. Very, very smart, um, puzzling um, room. Uh, I, I, I remember a lot of YouTubers had problem with this one. And there were, there were certain things in this room where you had to destroy, if I recall. Uh, I think it was like, look for a particular gem. Um, and you had to clear all of them to get, I think. To get the achievement. Ah yeah, that's this one. So you have to collect, I think I don't know how many of them. So this particular mirror reflects the stones or other the platforms that you can use for um, progressing. So yeah, very cool. Very very cool design indeed. So you had to use the platforms to get all those white stones as well. Like you see there's this one over there, um, floating in mid-air. You won't be able to get it until you've gotten the platform to appear. Um, I remember this platform was a rising one. So that's why you can see that um, we are not high enough. We're gonna do this again. So yeah, you can see from here, the platform will rise. There we go. So you want it to rise to a certain height that you can actually reach. There we go. That should do the trick. There we go. So if you want to get the gem, you definitely have to have it to the lowest. Okay, so as for this one, uh, this one's a rotating platform, so we need both of them, or rather three of them. Okay, that should do it. Alright. There we go, we got a battle. Wait, what? Hi. 
None of them got hit. That's just ridiculous. Okay. Oh. Oh, we drop down. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, so does that mean he died? Nice. Alright, fantastic. So there's another one here. Um, I'm sure you, you guys get the gist of it on how to do the achievement. Um, so we're gonna go down. I remember there was one somewhere here as well. It was pretty tricky to spot. If you, if you've been sliding all the way down without noticing it. Okay, so this one, if I'm not wrong, it's a rotating platform as well. I think it's, yeah, it's the one that we slid down from. So we have to rotate it to a certain direction. So I remember there was a secret area. Yeah, you see that platform over there? So we needed it to rotate to that angle. I think. There we go. So it, we can get to this platform, I suppose. It might be a little bit off. <laughs> but nothing like a little jump won't solve. So yeah, if we wanted to get the chest from here. Fantastic stuff. Okay, let's do this again. Here we go. Oh, I, I intended to press the jump button instead. So, yeah, you can see why I'm having a hard time getting used to the controls due to the Japanese style. Okay, here we go, the next boss fight. Okay, she powered herself up. Oh! Oh! God dang it. So, for that particular sequence, um, you had to um, block on her first. Okay, this one you have to block specifically at a certain timing. Oh, yeah, I missed it, so. Okay, that was horrendous. There we go. So if you manage to block it correctly, you should be able to do quite a bit of damage. There we go, so we're gonna time it again. There we go. So yeah, this was the boss that you had to fight without taking a single damage. So you can see why it's pretty annoying. Okay. Enough. 
There we go. So after you've gotten the patterns down, this boss part isn't that difficult. It's probably the one that you have to That's do for the that. achievement. Tara and Ven didn't have anything to say. But my shadow, she wanted to destroy me. Okay, I think we are done with all the mirrors. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, so we're going to head out again through the main... What was that? <laughs> the main mirror. Uh, but before that, let's heal up. Okay. I think we are done. Moving on to the last area. enemy. I've talked to myself a lot since falling into these shadows. But with the phantom, it's as though all my doubts have gained a voice of their own. <laughs> She's the weakness in my heart. I know I'm alone here. Have the uncountable hours in the shadows. Whittled away the courage I never really had. I'm losing this fight. The darkness has found the cracks in my heart. Is this the last apparition before it takes me over? Okay, so the whole part of this um, is a very psychological game. Um, Whatever Equa is going through, most people will probably have gone through it some part in their life, even for myself. So it is a very um, life learning lesson. If you guys um, can relate to Equa, you probably realize that um, Nomura has a message out there for everyone through this very short game. Another world I know. Then are they phantoms? I don't care if they are, or if I fall into the darkness. I miss them. So we are here in the second last area. Um, I did say the last area is the last area for the, um, I guess, the worlds, I suppose. Let's see, we're gonna burn these forms. Okay, we have a chest here for the map. Fantastic. Not that we need it, okay, but still it's good and nice. Nice to know that we have something. Okay, so these ones are a bit special. Um, you have to specifically use Fire Guard on them. If not, you will not destroy them at all. Um, the previous ones that I burned where they don't have colors, you can actually just smack them with a Keyblade and they will disappear. Hey! 
the other thing I like about the form change, um, it feels like the common rider series where when when the, the riders themselves uh, henshin, um, they become uh, invulnerable for a short period of time, and they also do damage to their foes, which is pretty interesting. So the thing about Equa's finishing is they, the enemies need to be around you or at least within the same height. Uh, if they are if they're the levitating kind then of course you can't touch them. Alright, we're good. So yeah, so this area does have a bit of a, um, let's say, hidden areas. You just need to be very mindful of. Yep. Oh, I should have done the lock shot. There's only like two of them. <laughs> oh well. Oh crap, I should have pressed. Okay, so. I forgot to press the thing again. <laughs> you can see that um, from this, I probably don't use lock shot very often. It is a very cool function, um, but it is a bit tedious, I suppose. But I get to get used to using it because Kingdom Heart 3 requires it quite a bit. From what I can see, um, they've been advertising a lot of it um, through all the trailers and stuff. So there's another path here. There we go, so Terra and Ventus. <laughs> Take that! Oh dang! Okay. Ooh. You really think you can keep me away from my friends? Here we go. So we have our first mini boss fight. Just like in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1 with better graphics, I <laughs> suppose. It's nice that Aqua can um, jump so high because Sora couldn't. <laughs> So this boss is pretty simple, you just need to dodge when needed. You have to keep spamming X. And of course do the finishing when needed, but from the looks of it, I think it's better to do damage this way. Yeah, of course, we can't really reach the head of the... Um, I can't remember why it's called again. Um, Shadow Heartless, I think so? Oh no. Okay, we need a heal. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, so many of them. Okay, next one. So these big guys are just gonna stand there and spawn the tiny ones for me to battle. So there is a bit of a lag when it comes to transforming into the spell form. I don't know whether it's because of the, uh, the processor on the old PlayStation 4, or maybe because it might be smoother with a Pro. Who knows? Um, Okay, that's it. Um, let's move on to the yep. next one. Yep. Whoa! God dang it! So I recall something where one of the achievements was not to get hit at all. Yep. Oh my! Oh, wow, that's not fair. All right, here we go. So if you saw, um, I actually hit the vines with the red um, spikes. I took damage from it, so yeah, you need to use fire guard to destroy them from a distance. Alright, so we get a chest. So we're collecting all the items that we don't really use. <laughs> I guess it's because we are playing um, standard. But if it was the proud mode, I guess. Oh, what in the world? Yep. What? Yep. Oh my. It's yes, not fair. Oh, this guy has lesser health than the previous one in the form. <laughs> Take that in your face! Oh wow, the homie. Okay. We're good here. There is a path downwards and then there's a path upwards. Um, you can see there's a tawny path over here. Oh dang it! Oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's one of those achievement stuff. Okay, so <laughs> not necessary. Hi. 
That's it! Alright! Okay, so I guess we have to bug, no? Really? Okay, so it's not this way then. Ah, okay, it's this way. So, if you recall, there was this area here where yeah, it has the chest. Okay, so collecting useless stuff once again. <laughs> okay, let's just move on. All these heartless are not needed to destroy. So these are the normal ones you can actually just smack with the keyblade. Um, it's only the red ones that you need to destroy with the flames. Very nice. Let's lose my way. Okay, you guys are getting annoying. Alright, that's it. So, this way then. So good! Oh, there's one left. Wait, there's more? Oh man! Seriously? How did they survive that? Okay. I don't know, man. In this way, god dang it. What's down here? Hmm. Oh, this this is a great plan. Did we just go one big round? Oh god dang it. There's a chest here. Once again collecting useless stuff. <laughs> God, I keep pressing the attack button instead of the jump. Ok, 
Okay, it's the last area. So let's go. Let's keep going. Supposed to defeat the heartless. But I'm not too sure which one. <laughs> ah, I see, it's that one. Let's do this. Hmm. There was a bit of a lag. Heartless on the ground. supposed to like run for now this is being <laughs> where am I attacking oh my goodness I can't block those beams. Oh, okay, good to know. I can reach him in some way. Yeah, there we go. Head over to our best butts, but before that, a refresher. Tara, Ven! Aqua, uh, you're... Tara, you spoke? Can you see me? Of course, I see Ven too. Ven? 
He's here? Tara, what's wrong? Don't you see him? Where are we? A world the darkness has consumed. It's enchanted dominion. Consumed? The world's fell? What's gotten into you? How do I know that you're Terra? And not the weakness that's in my heart. Playing more tricks. Then, please say something. Aqua, listen. I promise this is me, but I'm not myself. What do you mean? You're using the name Terra. That means you're seeing me the way that you remember me. But your heart is just painting the picture that it so wants to see. The real me is lost in shadow. Then you're here, trapped in the realm of darkness. No. My heart has ties to the dark. That must be why we can talk. But I can't see anything, Aqua. If you say Ven is there, then he's like me. An illusion created by your heart. I understand. Then you and Ven are safe in the outside world? I think. That's good. But how did you find me? I looked here and heard you in the darkness. Right, but why does your heart have ties to the darkness now? What did you mean, lost in shadow? Forget about me. Aqua, Xehanort is trying to locate Ven. He'll never find him. I hid Ven well. I think the reason he's not talking to me here is because he's still there sleeping. <laughs> No, I can't control. This place, is it the Chamber of Waking? Yes. Who are you, really? You don't know? My name. Aqua, get back! Terra! I messed up. Xehanort is part of me. Now he's using me, so you'll tell him where you hid Ben. Silence! I won't give in. Aqua, you have to... Still you struggle. Terra! Aqua! Now you can be one with the darkness! Are you okay? <sighs> Mickey, how did... Uh, Tara! Ben! No time to talk! Dwellers of darkness. They're called Heartless! <laughs> so Mickey was the one that revealed to Terra the name of the enemies that we've been fighting all this while. So Terra never called them heartless before, I guess. But well, they can't be right. I mean, in Bug by Sleep, they did call them heartless, right? So this is another form of the um, Devil's Way that Nomura was um, saying back then. Oh 
Oh, nice! Sneaky combo! Just auto homes on the enemy. Very, very cool. the final form of the uh, Devil's Wave. Um, the final form is the final boss for this game, which is gonna be pretty cool. Better not push our luck. Gosh, I never thought I'd find you in the realm of darkness, that's for sure. So, um, what happened? Have you seen Terra or Ven? No, just you. I'm sorry. The darkness in this place, it's getting to me. Oh. But you'll be okay. Right. <laughs> Say, we've been looking for you a long time. How come you're in this place? First tell me, how long's it been in the realm of light? About... 10 years. So how old is Mickey? Since after he's been searching for 10 years? I took Ven somewhere safe, and then I went after Terra. But Terra was about to fall to darkness, so I had one choice. I stayed here in hopes of giving him a chance. I didn't know. How about you? What could have brought you here? Has something happened in the realm of light? It's the Heartless. They've been attacking worlds and taking their hearts. And worlds with no hearts vanish into darkness. But if we can lock the door between the two realms, light and dark, from both sides, we can protect the other worlds. So you see, I came here to find the key on this side. Turns out, it's not so easy getting into the realm of darkness. The points you can cross have become unstable. It's only when a world gets consumed that an entrance appears in the realm between. So I waited for my chance to sneak in. But hey, when I got here, I felt a warm, familiar light. I followed it to find my way to you. The charm. So they were helping. Tara and Ben brought you and I back together again. Yeah. But the worlds are still in danger. Tara, did he make it back to the realm of light? We still haven't found him. I see. Well, Wherever he is, he's fighting. He'll beat his darkness. And I know he wants me to fight too. I think you're right. He'll be just fine. Yes. But what about Ven? He won't wake up unless I'm there with him. I have to go. I have to find a way back to the Realm of Light. Good. Then let's locate that key and go home together. Does that mean you know an exit? Well, uh, I was so busy finding a way in that I didn't give a lot of thought to where there'd be a way out. But together, we're sure to find one. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. 
<laughs> May our hearts be our guiding key. There's a phrase no one's used in ages. Keyblade wielders used to say those words to each other. And now, it's something I like to try and remember. So, ready? <laughs> ready. You okay? And that's where we get introduced to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or... Back then it was um, Union Cross Key. <laughs> I can't really remember. I've been playing the game for so long but I can't remember the name of the game anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the final area and this is the area that um, Square Enix and Sony blocked off. So yeah, um, pretty interesting. So if you guys were playing this in proud mode, you probably might end up staying here for a while to grind because um, the Devil Wave, the final form of the Devil Wave is no joke. Um, good thing I'm playing this on the normal difficulty, so there is still a chance that I might clear this without dying. Okay, let's move on. So I really like the design of this place, how the light reflects off the shiny surface. Uh, this is where you can really see the engine for Kingdom Hearts 3 really put into good use. Oh, dang! What in the world? <laughs> you can even break their combo, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh dang! Where did that come from? Okay. Just pretty cool. You can just teleport to wherever the enemy is, no matter how far they are. Mickey is like the most godly companion. <laughs> okay, collecting more useless stuff. Look at that stone and the lighting. Oh my goodness. There we go, another round of enemies. What? What? Oh my goodness, I'm busy. Holy crap. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so I don't really need to kill all these heartless, but it's just pretty annoying. Um, like, I don't know whether they have a very large chase range. Oh my goodness, how many of them are there? Okay, I did not intend to. I, did, I accidentally switched to Spell Weaver instead. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. We haven't done this in a while. There we go. For once, I kind of did it. Um, okay. <laughs> There's one other fella. Nice. Okay, we're done. Yep. Look at this! Walking into the light! So pretty. Oh man. Oh, look at that. It's interesting that this sand doesn't... Oh, it does leave footprints. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought they I thought it didn't leave footprints at all. Maybe because Aqua is walking too fast or running too fast. This is where I met those children. Oh, Destiny Islands. So many worlds have been lost. And now they're trapped here in the dark. Wait, you know this place, Aqua? Yes. I visited once. And I met two boys I considered passing the Keyblade on to. But because Terra had already given one of them the power, I didn't. <gasps> Aqua! What were the boys' names? They were... Sora and Riku. I see. We're getting warm. Huh? Well, it's Sora and Riku who've been helping me. We're trying to get that door shut for good. Uh, the same boys? Aqua, if this is where my friends first got the Keyblade, it also must be where we'll find its counterpart. The Keyblade of Darkness has got to be here, on the dark side of their world! Uh, we'll have to hurry! Come on! Alright, here we go! Final boss. Oh, the battle music is so... Ooh. Goosebumps. Oh, dang.
Let's do this. So cool. <laughs> it's just like bullying the heartless. <laughs> Changing it up and just making it. So pretty, oh my goodness, the finishing is so pretty. Oh no! Mickey, tell me when they're gonna heal. You just wasted my heal. Oh no, oh no! Oh my goodness. So this is the part of the Devil's Wave I can never understand. It can never read its patterns. I know when it turns red I have to like... Um, evade like mad. Oh. Yeah, so I'm supposed to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Oh my goodness! Yeah, so this is the portion where I have no idea how to escape. So I just keep blocking. <laughs> this is so cheating! Wayfinder is such a cheat mode! <laughs> yeah! There we go, that's it man! Let's keep going! I bet it's in here. <gasps> there. Is that what you're after? Yep, it's just the key I was looking for. A keyblade from the Dark Realm. A keyblade of darkness. The Door of Darkness, tied by two keys. The Door of Darkness, to seal the light. Well, we've got the keys. Now, we find the ones to close the door. Sorry. The door between the two realms, it won't let a heart with light pass through. So, only darkness keeps spilling out. 
we can lock the door by using the two key blades. But we need help on both sides to get the door shut. Well then, since you'll be doing the locking, let me be the one to close the door. Sorry, but the job's taken by somebody else. Is that the one? Yup, the door to Kingdom Hearts. Well, it's not the Kingdom Hearts you know. Uh, not exactly. But even though it's smaller, it's still the heart of many worlds. And even if it's not a complete Kingdom Hearts, we definitely can't leave it open like this. Or, darkness will escape and destroy the remaining worlds. It's time. With this key, and Sora's in the Realm of Light, we're gonna close this door. Now, all we need is Riku. Sora... Riku... There! <sighs> That's everybody! Come on, Aqua! The battle for the Realm of Light is not won. Thanks to Terra and Mickey, I know what's at stake. I'm not afraid. I will face the long darkness. The next time someone wanders into the Realm of Darkness, I'll be here. A light to cut through all the shadows. I will be their Wayfinder. And one day, I'll return to Terra and then. I am Master Aqua. And that's a promise. And that's it, okay. guys! It was such a cool ending and the beginning of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> we get to see Mickey strip naked. Well, the top half at least. <laughs> and here we go, the iconic scene of the ending of Kingdom Hearts. One. Now, Sora, let's close this door for good! <laughs> Stars are out. Terra. Then. 
just me again. They did it. The world's being restored. May our hearts be our guiding key. You'll know where I am. All right, guys. So that's it for the, I would say, prelude of Kingdom Hearts Three, and of course, it's um, also a prelude before Kingdom Hearts One. Um, everything ties together. This fantastic, fantastic series that Nomura has created. A lot of people have become fans of the series, and there are def definitely a few that have um, um, rejected the series as a whole because of the long waiting time. Um, 13 years to create Kingdom Hearts 3 is a very long time. I have been waiting ever since I first played Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PlayStation 2 um, as a kid. And finally, we are at the stage that Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out tomorrow, the 29th of January 2019 in the States. However, like I said at the beginning of this video, I will be getting my copy slightly later, two days or so. Um, I will definitely be doing a Let's Play series of Kingdom Hearts 3 and also the unboxing of the deluxe version of the game. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep 0. Point, sorry, I said it so wrongly. <laughs> it's a very long title. Can you blame me for putting it in the wrong um, sequence? Kingdom Hearts 0. 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, let's play. And of course, hopefully this entire story, this portion of Kingdom Hearts has... Um, pull you in into the series itself. If you are a starting out fan, it's never too late to begin your journey with Sora, Riku and Kairi. And of course, many of the other trios within the series itself. Guys, I will see you guys very soon in the next adventure of Kingdom Hearts 3. Until then, bye! I thought, I heard her voice in the distance. She sacrificed herself to save me? Why did you keep it from me for so long? I had to respect her choice. What about us? You could have given us a choice. We could have gone and helped her. I know. Do not be rash, Riku. As Mickey told you clearly in his story, Reaching the realm of darkness the first time was not a simple task. And even if we had found a way back in, regrettably none of us possess the necessary means to get Aqua back out safely. So I forbade Mickey from telling you, let alone going after her. Why keep it secret? That much is obvious. If not you, then certainly Sora would have staged a reckless attempt at rescue. Uh, uh. But now we can help Aqua. You and I, we're gonna go find her. Yeah, count me in. Yup. Who's this new Riku and where's the old one? New me? Yeah, <laughs> you're more like Sora. Should I be flattered? <laughs> I try too hard to be the role model. It's more fun to just listen to my heart. Which is Sora-esque. Well, we still like you. Master, I came here because I wanted to help somehow. What can I do? I have entrusted the wizard Merlin to oversee the training. 
for our new Keyblade wielders, yourself and Lee. Lee? He means Axel. What? Oh, he's a regular person now. He even saved Sora for us. You can trust him. Uh. Hmm. Come on, Riku. It's time for us to go. First, we gotta find an entrance to the Realm of Darkness. Mickey, hmm? take these along with you. The three good fairies ask that you be presented with them. They are new vestments, which will shield the both of you from the darkness. Thank, Thank you, you, Master! master. <laughs> okay, let's go! You were gone a long time. What were you doing? <laughs> Secret. I'm back! Oh, yeah. Huh? What? Just us? The others all had important work to do, so I sent them on their way. That's great. They could have said goodbye. It's not fun to miss them. It is not. I just like to say goodbye to all my friends. Then go in faster. I'm here now, right? We have matters to discuss. Hmm? What? In order to defeat Xehanort, there are allies we must gather, acting now to rouse them from their slumber. We have discussed this before, Zora. Hmm. Your mark of mastery exam was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. However, the darkness nearly took control of you, and your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. Oh. Furthermore, Xehanort <coughs> nearly made you his vessel, and in the oh. process stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. I suspect you have already noticed this, correct? <sighs> So <laughs> Whatever. Happens all the time. Yes. Chip and Dale are currently analyzing data that Ansem the Wise provided to Riku, and which could offer us a clue to retrieving our friends' lost hearts. I have very high hopes for this data. However, our greatest chance of stopping Xehanort's plan still lies with you, Sora. If you trust the guidance your heart gives, I know we will find all of the Guardians of Light. But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power. The power of waking, which you failed to master during your exam. There's someone who lost his strength and found it again. A true hero to whom you ought to pay a visit. Perhaps he can point you in the right direction. <laughs> Got it! Mm. You can count on us to take care of Sora! I would have it no other way. I put Sora in your hands. Donald! Goofy! You can't become a master without us! Huh? I never would have thought you'd fail that exam, Sora! Hey! Face it! You're just a hot pint! But the three of us together make a whole pint! Pint and a half! And don't forget, we'll keep an eye on you! Oh, this is gonna be lots of fun! It's not a vacation! Let's go! Count on us! Oh. How are we supposed to get there now? What? I thought you knew! Looks like all the old highways are closed. 
Didn't Master Yen Sid say that Sora should trust the guidance his heart gives? Come on, Sora! Let's roll! Um... Hey! What's your dick, serious? Give me a break. I'm trying. These things take time. <sighs> well, since we've already been before, why don't you try picturing our friends like we're there? Hmm... <clears throat> wow. Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? <clears throat> May your heart be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen Sid always said that. Right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Really? Ring a bell? <coughs> Maybe I just imagined it. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> Got it! It's too it good! All right! Olympus Coliseum, here we come! 